Hey guys, how are you today? All right, I am here to bring you this month's design team challenge for my rubber stamp line. The uh, design team members and I uh, have a prompt that we're using this month called Borders and Use It. I am going to link all of their videos in the description below. I do encourage you to go watch their videos, show them some love, and see the unique ways they've used the stamps of mine and to create borders in their work. Now, this is my store. Oops, <laughs> this is my storage binder of all of my stamps, um, and I am going to do a quick flip. Some of these, um, you could create a border with. Although it wasn't intended that way, you could definitely could use this art doll one um, and stamp the doll body or face, you know, all along the border to create a border. This stamp set has these pieces that were intended to be border stamps, even the lotus, um, and this one does too. So some of them have pieces in them that were purposefully intended to create borders from. Here are some more borders in this one. So. I'm going to quickly show you, I'm going to pick one, let's see, I want to pick, I think this one from this set. Now all of these sets are available from my Etsy shop in either pre-cut cling mounted sets like this or uncut red rubber where you just get the whole sheet and you're going to need a sheet of easy mount foam to mount the red rubber to and then cut them out yourself if you do it that way. But you can save a little money if you do it that way. All right, so we're going to take that particular set. Oop, 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 oop. Acrylic block. All right, I've got some black archival ink. I usually, when I do rubber stamping like this that I'm probably going to use later in a mixed media project um, or watercolor on it or something like that, then I usually use archival ink or stays on ink, something that's water resistant or waterproof. So now I'm going to just ink the stamp up. These are book pages that I've just literally like wiped my brush off on. These are my favorite thing to create borders out of. That one fit. It might fit on that one. Let's try. I really like the color that this one came out. And you see the little bit of a sparkle on there. So let's see. Oh yeah, see? I think I can get one more on there too. These are just scraps. Yep. Then, what I do, I just cut them out. I usually want to have them cut out in a way where they're prepared to use on a project. They're prepared to use on a journal page or a tag or one of my little note cards that I make, something like that. So all I, I don't have to worry about cutting it for that project, it's already cut out, see? I, I have actually a drawer full of borders. And you could cut it up close to the stamp and, and kind of fussy cut it, I never do that. I always kind of rough cut it away from the stamped image a little bit. And this one I'm going to trim this back side just a little bit. Okay. Now I feel comfortable throwing that away. <laughs> so that's just one example of what you can do. Zoom in. There we go. With my stamps, of course anybody's stamps, to create some borders that you can use in your art. And I wanted to show you uh, examples of how you could use them. So here is my old journal from 2015. And this is the my year, my year journal um, from 2015 where I document everything that I've done and I do a little bit of artwork and things in it and places I've gone and 
take pictures and put them in. And anyway, so you can see it. This is one of my doodle borders, but it's done the same way. You totally can picture this. Once you have this element created, you can put it in with your travel journal supplies um, or have a box of them in your art room. Um, here's a border that I actually doodled right on the page, but I know there's more of those borders pasted in somewhere. That was the one I found right away. <clears throat> a bunch of trips in here. I know the older one of this. Oh, here, see, here's another one where it's a, a die cut border. So get your stamps out, take a second look at them, see which ones that you have that you could create some fun borders with to have in your stash of stuff to use in your artwork. And I'd love to see the ones that you create and what you do with them. Don't forget to go down below, show the design team members some love, see what they do to create their borders and how they use them. Uh, don't also forget to like, share, and subscribe Subscribe to the vid video. That would be great to my channel. And uh, if you can, think about supporting my channel by shopping in my Etsy shop uh, or going to the YouTube channel's main page and hitting that fan funding button. Uh, don't forget the most important thing, though, besides any of all of that. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.